big on these performances and Come on. all this prophecy. And, you know, and I gotta say something because I asked you for a hundred dollars. I, I, Come on. I, I, it's just me now. I'm not talking about your body's past. It's just me. Bishop is too serious for that. The journey has been too rough for that. I, I just believe that we as the church, we need to get connected back to God's word. And we apply that word, it's going to work. No matter what the word prophesies. The way that the kingdom works, what's this revelation? The, book, the Bible says you have grace and apostleship, obedience to the faith. That means for you to obey in faith today, you need to have a word released to an apostolic office. Amen. God reveals things through his apostolic Not to offend nobody. See, every time you want to try to bring church in order, people get offended. Uh -huh. But you can't change what God's already done. Uh -huh. The Bible says he gave some apostles and some prophets and evangelists. And if you study, you'll see what everybody fought in. But the, the way that God revealed Jesus was through an apostle. The way you know that you have salvation is through an apostle. Everything you know about the kingdom comes through an apostle office of an apostle. Yeah. There's a reason for that. Now many people are, have apostolic anointing but don't receive it. But the apostle is set up there to be an intercessor. Come on, mm -hmm. come on. Come on. And for the word of now faith, now faith. I'm not talking about what they said 2,000 years ago. Now faith, you need a revelation of what to believe yes. God for now. Yeah. Amen. And I am telling you right now, today, that God said everything that you've gone through will lead me to this day. Yes. And you receive yes. this this is your turning point. Some of y'all heard me preach a lot. Y'all know I don't, I don't get here. When I get here, that's because God has brought me here. This is your turning point. And if you walk out of here with the right attitude, you begin to see things differently. You begin to imagine differently. Your love life as your house is going to be totally different. You're not going to respond to every little thing no more. Why? Because you've got a revelation. Now I'm asking, I, I'm not, listen, I'm putting $50 in this offering because I want to be into this word. I ain't, listen, I ain't telling you the Lord to give $50 and I got a word for you. What I would tell you this and hear this testimony. Whatever you can sow, that's a sacrifice, do it. When I was on drugs, Bishop, I'm giving this testimony for those who need to hear it. Wherever I went, I couldn't, I couldn't stop using drugs here. I went to 17 treatment centers, 17. I went to the best one and ended up in the home homeless. I ran the whole gamut. Someone say amen. At one treatment center, my, my, my roommate was the heart surgeon, the chief heart surgeon in the U.S. They got problems too. Someone say amen. 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 But every time a prophet came that we honored and they asked for a seat, my wife and I in church, they didn't have to write a check. I believed in the system, Lord. And we would go to her mother and borrow the money. While her mother knew I was on drugs. Oh, y'all are talking come about on, Come on, To make sure we catch the check that the preacher will put in that next day. That next day. Yes. Thank you. We done made such a mockery of the Steve showing that people don't want to participate no more. Yeah. This is an anointing here. This ain't no church stuff. I ain't, I ain't got no word for you. I done gave you the word. Yeah. What I'm asking you to do is exercise some faith. And release a seed that's a sacrifice. Fifty dollars might be a sacrifice. Based on in my pocket, that's another sacrifice. Five might be a sacrifice for some of y'all. For some of y'all, it might be more. What I'm asking you right now is just trust the process. Yes. And I want you to get your best offer. If you're gonna do credit card, um, right here. For those of you who want to get a copy of my book, you'll see my wife and I sign it for you after church. But I need everybody to put something in here. I don't, it's because I'm going to release a, oh, I feel the Holy Ghost. I'm going to release a word on this thing. I need everybody to put something in this basket. Paul says, not according to him who, who if you don't have it, God don't expect you to give it. Glory to God. I feel something going on here. Preacher, I want you to hear me, girl. God is changing the ministry that you're the pastor. Okay. God is changing you. He's changing your culture. you got to be open what God is doing now. Okay, the level of your next realm is going to be above what you're in now in understanding. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He's working on you right now. I want you to see what I'm saying. He's changing the culture of your ministry. And God connected you here tonight for you to hear this word. And I want you to 
receive this. Nothing is wrong. God has not forgotten. See, here's what the scripture said. The book said they went out from us because they were not of us. Because had they been of us, no doubt they would have continued with us. But they went out from us that it might be made manifest that they are not all of us. Everything that God is doing has purpose. There's a world when I see it. There's a, there's a world when going on. It's just, you know, but you know what? It's cleansing some things. God says he's changing your culture. He's doing something different. He wants you to expand your way of thinking when it comes to ministry. He wants you to forget where you came from because this is a new season for you. Can you see what I'm saying? I want you to lift your hands for me. I'm just going to agree with you. I want you to see this. It don't matter what you see tomorrow, it's removed. Yes. Now what's going to happen is you've got to be saying that. Is anybody here with me? Yes. No matter what you see, no matter what the attendance is Sunday or whenever you're in church, see with your, with your spiritual eyes now and repeat this word. This thing is removed. And then the devil try to tell you this thing, I don't believe that. I wish I had time to see the water. Tell him I don't believe that. You got a word right now. Remember when the word is released? It's final. The blockage is right now removed. I just said. I'm going to get the testimony here. God show me angels hearing that something from over your life, from over your house, and from over your ministry. I'm done, I'm done. It was never meant to be easy. You understand? It was never meant to be easy. I want you to grab his hand. Come here, baby. It was never meant to be easy. The fight is about the ministry. You understand? You can't be nobody who you are. I'm going to say that to you again so you can get it. You can only be who you are. You can be who God raised you to be. I can feel it. The fight is about the ministry. He's got instructions now. I'm giving them to you. Don't try to understand everything. Are you hearing me? It's going to be hard because I can see your spirit. Don't try to figure it out. See, in grace there are no mistakes. Am I in your business just a little bit? I mean, you, you know, in grace, in grace there's no mistakes. You understand? It's all perfected. And every little pain that you feel, every little struggle, is a part of the process. And this is, that's why I was fought so hard today. You saw me back there, I was still in the office before I came out. It's because I came here to save people. I didn't expect to see no pastors here tonight. At all. I didn't expect to see Bishop, and I thought he was over at Board of Living God. <laughs> 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 